Alright guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to, once and for all, take all of your guys' best advice on my, on my latest uh, football training video. Jacob McDonald Football Training Day 9. I put that up probably two or three days ago. Um, the response is really positive. Just like, honestly, even when I look like a clown out there, the, the response is still, you know, really positive. And I want to I wanna take that to the field today because every other time that I've gone down to the field, you guys have seen everything I've done from day one to day nine. I've literally only gone down to the field nine times to do football training. And I get down there and I have all these ideas in my head. I read your comments, your feedback, but I get down there and I just, I put the cones out and it sort of, it just all flies away. I, I, I can't concentrate on what you guys have told me. So I just do what I want. I do what comes to my head. I probably do a lot of random shit that you guys think, what is he doing? But anyways, look, today is all about finally, you know, reading your comments. We're going to do it on camera. I'm going to take all your best advice, head down to the field once more and try and put it into practice because we're at Jacob McDonald football training day 10. That's what this video is. Day 10. Double figures. Even though I've only been down there 10 days, I should start to have a bit of an idea by now. And that's what we're going to try to do to the best of my ability today. So, first thing we're going to do is go to the comment section on my YouTube channel and have a little scroll and see what the top comments are. The comments with the most likes. Okay, so that's exactly what we're going to do. The quicker you're here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is... Here we go. I'll select that video. And let's have a look at the top comments. Okay, so the top one is fuck you. <laughs> Upside down. And I know why he put that. It's because in the video, at some point, I was sitting next to a chair. And behind me, on the chair, written in um, permanent marker, was, was fuck you. So obviously someone thought they were cool when they put that. Anyways, okay. So that's the top comment. Let's continue. Dula says, really good effort. Thank you, man. Thank you. Review your video and check out ball security. Now, before we go on, I know that the general consensus from that training video is that I need to hold the ball high and tight. When I'm doing drills, I let it come out like this. When I'm running, I let it come out like this and I just can't do that. So anyway, let's continue. Really good effort. Review your video and check out ball security. You're at risk of a defensive back punching the ball out of hand. While the pros are prone to using the ball for balance, fundamentals would call for always keeping the ball tucked away. A running back with a tendency to fumble isn't a running back for long. Yeah, when the defensive back sees you make your move, expect them to go after the ball. Okay, yeah, I, I am completely underestimating how much defenders want to get that ball out of your hands. And as you just said, if you do happen to juke someone, if you do happen to get past someone, and they know you're past them, and they can't tackle you properly, they're just going to go for the ball, aren't they? They're just going to go for the ball. Alan Endicott, by the way, if it's possible, reach out to fellow Australian Cameron Johnson, who was a punter at Ohio State and is now with the NFL's Philadelphia Eagles. I follow Cameron Johnson, believe it or not, but I haven't reached out to him. Also, were you aware that there are two other professional leagues organising or reorganising? The Alliance of American Football, AAF will play in February 2019 as an eight-team league. And the XFL, which previously operated as an eight-team league in 2001, is returning in February 2020. This may give you more opportunity to realize your dream. I appreciate it, man. I did know. I knew, I knew both of those organizations were coming out. Um, and someone else has mentioned here he could also play arena football if there are still leagues going on. And I've heard about arena football too, but I haven't actually watched any. Okay, so we've got ball security and to reach out to fellow Australians in the league. All right, Julia Smalls, don't lower your head, lower your shoulder when you truck. Yeah, that's, I knew I, knew I did it wrong as soon as I saw it. When I, I only really threw the truck in there just to give me something to do so then I could like come out of it and try and make a move. But I mean, I was going, I was just tucking the ball and going head first like that, whereas I really should turn to the side and try and truck with my shoulder. I do realize that. So I'll, if I do practice trucking, I'll, I'll, um, I'll try and do that. I'm just trying to like imagine 
a con the context, you know what I mean? I'm trying to like initiate the context just in a drill by myself, so I can't really do much, but I know what you mean. I'm not going to put my head down. Highlight says you should try and play for a European team because it would be easier and help, you, help teach you the game. There is an American YouTuber who went to Baylor for a while named Silas Nasita, who you should get in contact with if you're serious about this. He played in Germany for a season and was really good. He is now going to play with his former Baylor head coach for a team in Italy. Just thought I would mention this to you, man. Good luck. Thank you. I think I follow him too. He's been making videos about German and, and American stuff, comparing them. Is that right? I think I follow him. Jamari Robinson. Jacob, bro. Bruh. You have to hold the ball tighter, even when training, so that when it's real time, you'll be used to it. Got it, man. <laughs> I tell you what, I'm going down there today. I am going to hold that ball so high and so tight, it's not even funny. Or I'm, I think I'm going to. I hope I do. <laughs> Let's see. I think it's, it's going to affect the way that I can run, though, so we'll see what happens. Chris Lamore, keep working, man. Make your goal college football. If you can get into a bigger name college football school, so many doors can open up to you. Thanks. And there's a guy under there that says he's kind of old for this. Question mark. Yeah. Fair call, man. Fair call. Tristan Burns. Hold the ball high and tight. Don't move it away from your body. Good work, though. Thanks. High and tight. Four points of contact. Cameron H. says, if you're joining Pro Kick and admit that your best chance to make a college football team is at a, as a punter, shouldn't you be working on your punting like every day <laughs> well Cameron that is true pro kick is my best chance to make a college football team and it's only gonna be as a punter but I don't know that kicking seven times in a game the whole game with no chance to run on offense is, is actually going to fulfill me enough and why am I going to college football I'm going to college football to get a free education and an awesome experience. I don't know that being a punter is going to give me that awesome experience. I just don't know. And I don't know until I go down to pro kick and, and start training. So stay tuned to the channel. I will let you know exactly what happens. I am shooting for it. I'm shooting for pro kick at the moment. Just know that. So it's all good. Uh, what do we got? D Kelly underneath that one says, Amen. His best shot is punting as he comes from a punting haven, which is Australia, although I'm from New Zealand. He has got this, if he just makes a schedule and knocks it out. I appreciate the confidence, mate, I really do. Duck Don't Stop says, get some pads to show how shifty you are with those on. D Kelly, once again, says, someone should send him punter pads and maybe a kicking net so he can kick by himself for hours. Look guys, if I really wanted to train as some, you know, I would, I'd buy a jug machine on credit, on a credit card, I'd just get one because I'd want to train so much. I don't know the exact fucking, uh, journey I'm on man I really don't my head's being pulled in 10 different directions right now with other stuff other than football so <sighs> we'll see what we're doing not that boring film says I love your efforts I love what you're doing you're an inspiration I really do think you can make it Wow now it's those kind of comments that keep me going if there's one thing I gotta say you are running a bit high lower your body you need to keep your center of gravity lower so you don't get blown up. Got it. Another thing, while juking, don't stay on your toes. Try to step harder on the ground. Run harder. Look at Christian McCaffrey running and juking. He reminds me of you. Well, I don't know if he reminds me of <laughs> if he reminds you of me, but I do like Christian McCaffrey's play. I really do. He's got some nice cuts. He's got a nice running motion when he gets in in an open space. It's it's awesome to see. Also, look at players like Saquon Barkley. Ezekiel Elliott, Alvin Kamara, they are great players and just looking at them and studying their play style can make you a better player. Continue your grind and you will be rewarded. We out here grinding. And I love all those players. I've seen a few of them. I see the way they run. I see what they do. You know? And that's what makes me excited about being a running back. I don't know if I'll be one, but I want to train as one. Or a receiver. I like receivers drills too. Hi says, honestly man, you should make a day-to-day -day routine instead of doing random drills. Definitely should. And you've got to make a bad habit by not tucking the football. But keep up the good work. 
All right, so tucking the football, lower center of gravity. Sammy D says, keep it up. If you don't make it anywhere, my dad coaches a semi-pro team in Pennsylvania. That doesn't pay, but you can still play nonetheless. And D Kelly chimes in again. Does your dad know any junior college programs in case he needs to get to NCAA? Also, any punter pads lying around? Those would help him train, I think. Huh, D Kelly, you're coming through, mate. You're really, you're helping me out, man. I gotta say. Jonathan Machado. Looks like you're kind of standing up while doing ladders. I am, man. I fucking, I find it hard to get down. I was, I was concentrating so much on just getting my feet in the right spot. It, it looks, it looks terrible, I gotta say. Try to get a little bit lower and keep your shoulders over your feet. Also try to speed up as you go through your workout. Start slow, then slowly build up the speed. Wide receiver off the line, I like it. Thanks. Keep working on it, you're doing good at that. Cool. Try fixing your stance up just a bit though. Try not to place nor lean so much on your front foot. Try to evenly distribute your weight on your two feet. Okay. I was, yeah, I was leaning heavily on my front foot before, I, before the snap. Running back, try not to lower your head. It's dangerous and can hurt you upon contact. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't be putting my head down like that. Try to get your head straight or up. Lead and lower your shoulder instead and stay lower. Remember, lo remember the lower man always wins. Okay, Michael Matsko. You need to buy pads and a helmet because when you have a helmet on, your field of view is smaller. This will train you for a real game. Yes, it is. It's extremely small compared to a rugby game. Totally different. Totally different. But I, I got no pads, man. I do have a helmet. <laughs> I've got a Green Bay Packers replica helmet. It doesn't fit. I call police. Says you should probably get some type of trainer, bro. Some type of trainer, bro. That I should, man. If I could, I would. Garrett writes, on your cuts, spread your legs out horizontally. When you're going straight on with the cone, try bringing your thighs together like you're just running straight and then make one hard cut. I get that spreading your feet apart on a cut is good for rugby because it's a very lateral game. But in football you need to be running downhill as much as possible. Okay, meaning you're going full speed, cutting, then going full speed again. No hop, no spread of the feet, and cut! <laughs> your routes look a little better, but you still got a little duck toad on your cuts. For right now with the cuts, focus on making the cut as fast as possible while still heading downfield instead of laterally. And on your routes, on your routes, you should slow down at first and make sure they are precise before going full speed. Building your technique at the beginning is more important than doing it quickly. And it's a good time since you're not 100% in shape. Also, on that running back drill you did, same thing. Focus on full speed, cut, full speed. You can't do a dead leg or a jump cut right in front of a linebacker. Those are meant for lateral plays. Going straight up the field through a gap is either a spin using the defender's leverage to get a few more yards or a straight up cut up the field. Okay, well, thanks. The routes that I tried to run were not a slant, they were in, like an in, like I, I did want to cut at 90 degrees. But when I go down there for this time, I'm gonna try and do slants on a 45 degree angle and then I really will be able to just plant that one foot in and not go buh buh buh. I'll just go bang, just with one foot and try and, try and uh, change direction as fast as I can without losing any speed. I'll just go bang. Bang. Matthew Chow says, keep up the great work, man. I just finished my first year on my high school team and respect your grind. I respect yours too. Also, receivers aren't allowed to move before the snap. It's considered a false start. I did mention in that previous video that I thought one receiver from each team was allowed to, or one receiver from the offensive team was allowed to move before the snap. And I think they can move, but then when they set up, they have to be still for like one or two seconds, is that right? So I can't run on the burst like they do in Canadian football. All receivers have to be still before the snap. Okay, only moving allowed is a motion, which is when the receiver runs from one side to the other, either to confuse the opponent's defense or tell the quarterback whether they're in zone, whether they're in zone or man coverage. You can tell if the defender follows the receiver. Okay, so if the receiver runs across the field to the other side and his defensive man changes side as well, they're in man coverage. If he runs across and they don't change, they're in zone. Right, so you're allowed to move across the field, but before the snap happens, you've got to be still. Okay, got it. Those were the top comments, guys.
I'm just going to look at my most recent ones just to see if there's anything I can pick up here. React to the Irish vs. the All Blacks 2018. Well, that doesn't help me, mate. <laughs> Fast Food Guido says, came a long way, look, looking better. Thanks. Ball security, hold it tight and tight. Running backs get hit a lot. Please consider strengthening your neck. Yeah, that's, that's a consideration, I've got to say, man. Jeffrey says, high and tight with that ball, young man. Matt Ingram says, need someone to throw you a ball. Brett Ema says, just for the record, the receiver can only get a running start in Canada's version of football. Got it. Which is much different than USA. Got it. Gregory Dippold. Hi, Jacob. Just want to let you know that we are here to help along your journey. Also make sure you are taking the time to learn the concepts of football. This will help a ton. Man, I know I've got so much help in my corner, it's unbelievable. I love it. It's, it's, it's amazing. It's the only reason why I'm doing this. If I didn't have the help, I, I wouldn't be. Sterling Schweinewide. <laughs> keep head up at all times for vision. Keep ball high and tight to the chest. And remember to always keep ball in sideline arm. Got it. Andrew Harris. 220 will lose speed. Look at the average skill player weight. It is 200. Do not go up to 220. And he's saying that because in the video at the start of it, I said I want to get to 220 pounds. I want to be six foot one at 220, regardless of my position. I feel like that's it's a good weight. It just sounds good, and that's what I've always wanted since the start of this journey. And he's telling me not to, but you know, I'll know if I feel slow. In which case, I'll drop some weight. It's it's not hard. Epson, keep the ball tighter to the body. Three points of security. Got it. When you're doing ladders, try to look forward and not at your feet because when you play, you'll never know when something will hit you. Absolutely, mate. That's something I'm going to work on today. The reason I was looking down is because I don't know where my feet are going yet. I'm not used to it. So ball security, ball high and tight, low center of gravity over your feet, looking up whilst I'm doing the ladder drills and they might look a little bit better. Jackson Stewart says, great job. Only thing is to keep your head up during the agility data and hold the ball tight. Got it. Okay, I think that's it, man. I think that's enough. <laughs> uh, I'm going to take all of this feedback and go down to the field and do my absolute very best to um, improve. That's what it's all about. It's all about just improving, doing my best. Thank you for your feedback, guys. I really appreciate it. Good or bad, you know, obviously consensus is quite positive. And if it's criticism then it's definitely constructive criticism so I thank you for that man I really do and all I can say is welcome to football training day 10 that's going to be in the next video this one I'm going to just make well, what am I going to call it rugby player receives feedback on football training from subscribers that's what it's going to be called so I hope you've enjoyed I hope you enjoy the next one I'm about to head down to the field I'm really excited you know I get I get really excited about doing that and if I could man if I could train with a proper trainer proper team you know, telling me exactly what to do, that would be amazing, but right now I can't, so I'm doing the best I can. I will see you in the next one. If you've liked this video, please hit that like button. If you want to subscribe, please do. I'll see you soon. Peace out.